Now, let us see, let's see how we handle this question. I'm going to give you two ways of how you can handle it. Let us go through it. Part of projected vertical downwards descends with descends 100 meters in four seconds. Show that it describes the last 30, min, 30 meters in about 0 0.7 seconds. Now, it means that we have a particle. Now, this particle is vertical downwards, projected vertical downwards. So, if I call this my particle, it is vertical downwards like this. So they are telling me vertical downwards, so it descends in 400 meters. It descends 400 meters, I mean 100 meters. So when this is, I'm assuming these are, these are my 100 meters. So, in 100 meters, it is doing this in 4 seconds. So now they are asking me, show that it displays the last 30, minute, 30 meters. So, I'm assuming now from here up to here are my 30 meters they are talking about. I'm assuming that this, these are my 30 meters. So, from here up to here, I'm assuming it's 100. Now, they are asking me, show that it displays the last 30 minutes. 30 meters in 0.4 seconds. First of all, I need to know that velocity at which this body is the initial velocity of this body at which it's falling. So from there, you see so that I can easily say I have the distance, I have the time, and I have that so it's now it's falling down my So start using my s equal to u t plus a half a t squared. From here, I start that solution is going to be g which is 9.8. Why? It's costly because the body is falling from the start, the body is just falling. So, my S here is going to be 100 equal to my units, which I'm looking for times 4, then plus a half, 9.8, then 4 squared. Because time there is 4 seconds. So, here I'm going to be having 100 equal to 4 U. Then plus 4.9 times 16. From there, so my u is going to be 3. So my answer is 5.4 meters per second. This is my now. This is my initial velocity is using now. I'm going to say now, after getting my initial velocity, let me call the wall from here up to here. Let me now remove this here. And I say, let me say from here up to here. Remember here I say this man is using four seconds. Then from here in the five in the five meters. So here this was three equal to four. So let me say now, assuming it's falling from there up to here. It will be now, this is a hundred from here, up to here is a hundred meters. So from here, it's going to be one thousand meters from there, up to here. So let me say that now the time is using here, let me call this time, capital T, from here up to here. Now, if because I know from here up to here is four seconds, when I get the wall from here up to here, to get this, I'll get the time, this T, then minus the four, I'll be getting the remaining time there. I repeat. From here up to here, let us get now the time. This particle is going to follow from here up to here. If we call it capital T, then we shall get, because you know from here up to here, it is using four seconds. So from here up to here, if it's the time we shall get, we shall have that property four seconds, then we shall be getting the time just for this. So now there, what we have now is that our S equal to UT plus a half FT squared. Now here, I'm having 130, equal to my U, how I use the same, which is 5.4, I have 5.4, now my T here, I'm going to have after T, then plus a half, 9.8, then T squared. So the same thing here, I'm using. So, doing this, you see when I take everything that I said, I'll be having, this is 4.9 T squared, then plus 5.t, then minus 130 equal to 0. 
this is the non perfect, so we use a bulldozer, so my two will be minus 5.4 plus or minus square root of b, which is 5.4, the whole square root minus 4a, then c, then the whole over 2a, to a, which is 4.9. And so my t, when you simplify that, you get uh, so here I get my first t is four point point six three four point six three seconds, then the other t is negative five point seven three. So they have to start my t for the whole six three seconds for one thirty meters. Now you know that you know that for a hundred for a hundred for hundred meters comma our t is four seconds. Then for one thirty meters our t is 4.63 meaning now for 30 meters our t will be this now minus this 4.63 minus 4 our t will be 0 0.63 seconds and i think this the quality is about so it's, it's about 0 0.7 so it's a distance almost when really about 0 0.7 so that's the first way then alternatively alternatively now look at this alternative this one you need a lot of some so we have seen that now if this is my particle and i'm assuming these are 100 meters so there is 100 meters then i need also for the 30 meters maybe there so now, for the 30 meters, what I'm going to do, I've seen that already my U is 5.4 meters per second squared. Now, to describe this, now I need for this one is going to be my V, the final rest, let me get the final rest here, from here to here, let me get my V. But our V here will be equal to U plus 18, from here up to here, so for me, my time is 4. So to get my V there, my V will be U plus 80, so my V will be 5.4, then plus 9.8 into 4. So my V here is going to be 9.4, 9.8 times 4 plus 5.4 is giving me 44.6 meters per second. Now, this one here. Is going to act if I want to have this distance now. This one is going to act as my initial velocity for the 30 meters. So here I'm saying, remember, I'm saying here where, 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 where. Here, the initial velocity, when we are starting from here to here, I said the initial velocity here is this. Now, I need to know the initial velocity. What am I starting with when I'm here? So, what do I start with? What we are going to do? We are going to get now the initial velocity here. Our initial velocity is going to be the final velocity from here up to here. Now the final velocity from here up to here is going to act as our initial velocity from here up to there. So after getting that, I think, uh, let me see. And plus. Okay, so now after getting that, now from here, now I. I come for this now for 30 meters. Now let me why the need so for the 30 meters from there to there. Let us call this 30 meters. So our U here is going to act as 44.6 meters per second. So our distance is here and our A is going to be 9.8. Now from there, what, what happens if we have that? You want time. You have the distance, you have the acceleration, you want time. What do we do? We use our S equal to T plus our half A T squared. So our S now here we have 30 
equal to 2. Now I want the time here. Let me call it t. Now I want the time here is going to be t. I want this time here. So my now the initial velocity is the final velocity from here, which is 44.6 into t, then plus a half 9.8 t squared. So you simplify that with the half of 29 t squared plus 44.6 t minus 5 equaling 0. And then put this onto our bulldozer minus 44.6 six plus or minus square root of into a negative back in the wall divided by into a four point nine is so our t here when we get our t there Members, we show well. Now, in most lessons, the next lessons we are going to see now books using the motion and the gravity. Okay, I put this note for you so that we can guide you there. 